kept from attracting the emotions of hundreds of people. Alumni, friends of Makere University, the fire that guarded the ivory tower also left so many employees without office space. Most of Makere University had already been closed off with little activity. However, the ivory tower still hosted several critical offices that were still open as recently as Friday. Let us now take you through a list of those offices affected. We start with the Directorate of Finance. This office occupied most of the ground and first floors of the right wing of the building. It also included the bus's office, internal audit and cash office. We expect that it held a lot of the recent financial paper records of the university. All the records are housed elsewhere on campus and, and are every now and again backed up with digital copies. Moving on to the other office that is affected by this fire, the public relations office, uh, office. This one is located on the top floor, right wing, and also houses the university's social media office. The third is the secretary's office. This is the main office on the right wing of the first floor and is responsible for the institution's day-to-day -day activities. The next office is the Directorate of Human Resources. This office uh, deals with all employee concerns contracts and most dispute resolutions. It was housed on the top floor of the building, which was wiped out. The central registry is another office that has been affected by this fire and has several hard copies of critical internal documents. It was also housed on the top floor of the building on the left wing, like the Directorate of Human Resources. This was wiped out as well, although sources indicate most of the articles here may have digital copies elsewhere at the university campus. Now, while investigations into the cause of the fire are underway, speculation is rife as to what it would take to resolve this important building, which is now recognized internationally as a UNESCO World Heritage Site.